Let's do a boss tour, yeah? Getting that you guys have been walking around in the rain all day and you want to take a break. An organization! And we are helping save species. So thank you for letting us lead the fight against extinction. Oh, three months cover. Yeah, those are the animals closely related to us. And it really is. Moving along the edge of the lost forest. So if you do have your map, you can follow along. We're going up the left-hand side, about to find Tiger Trail. And I will mention your maps here and there, just in case it's helpful to you guys. Uh, but if you don't have a map, no worries. Just be a happy person. So this is our tiger enclosure, and we have three young males that live here with us. So yeah, we got a couple of Gwenins there. Oh, and this little guy on the tree right next to us, far right on the enclosure. Yeah, there's a couple of them out. And I'm kind of pleased because I did not see them earlier. <laughs> right, because animals enjoy activity and through express butter. Have you used those yet today? No? Oh man, you guys are a lot of other species. Just roam around. Everybody, here we go. We're Continuing the up the hill. Zoo. And look at this Thank you, lady. Over there. Perfect. Well, look for one of them with you right now. Here at the zoo, we have polar bear plunge. And I'm going to get the brakes on. And if you want, go ahead and stand up and take a look to the left and see what we can find. Oh, there's a bear. <laughs> wow, okay. That worked out very well. Yeah, so that's one of our female of them. Uh, but also, they've been helping a lot of trouble lately. <laughs> You can see this bear looks quite healthy and under little difference together. What we're learning from them is helping um, and just spreading the word, making sure everybody knows that fox and reindeer and raccoons too. So yeah, you do need to come back and see everybody. But honestly folks, <laughs> this is a once in a lifetime maybe? I don't know, I've been here six years. I do have a soft spot for bears. You'll hear all about it later on. We are going to see more bears on the tour. And yeah, I'm just kind of crazy about it. Now, up ahead, and that baby was born just a, what, a week ago? A couple of days ago? Yeah, we have we have so many babies right now. My tour is becoming baby sister. I can't help it. Look how sweet that is. Look at that tiny little neck. Oh, it's just little. North America. But on the left-hand side, we're passing Patagonian Mark 3 for our kangaroo express buses. So on the left-hand side is stop number three. And you will find it at the very top of the... You can see the green lamp posts in there. Yeah, off to the... Yes, all right, we're gonna stop here for a minute. I wanna check on my babies. On the left-hand side, do you see this pile of animals? Did I wake oh, you, Miss? Uh, That's Miss Helen. She's our female lion, and uh, Ernest, her brother, lives here as well. So we'll look around for him, but I don't see him immediately. He might be on the ground somewhere. But yeah, Ernie and Ellie are new to us. Well, kind of new. They've been here for a while. They're well-adjusted, but they came to us from the safari park. Now, oh, here we go. Here's a lovely view of oh, our yeah. elephant, Debbie. Hello, yeah. sweetheart. This is one of three elephants that lives here. We do have, again, a bigger herd. Same space, they have to work with our elephants through a barrier. That means they use a lot of communication skills. So there's Shaba, but Mary is also there by the tree. Oh, isn't that sweet? They're good friends too, they love each other. Well, they're here to represent ancient American camels. Uh, and camels actually originated here. The first camels were American. These guys, well, these are the biggest birds in North America. Now they have about a nine foot wingspan, so I'm sort of hoping they show off some of you more. So they're all burrowing, but look at that, there is still one. <laughs> here, we're going to find some more cute small things that I'll never find outside of Africa. <laughs> and it really is just amazing to walk all the way through. So if you're saving some time for today, and I hope you do, just keep in mind, stop for Well, here, this is actually for the snow leopard. Look around for those two gaps. Oh, yeah, here we go. How cool. So, <laughs> we're trying to get them to be quiet. But of course, if you're a like eating animal, in their case, it just wasn't completely possible, though. Yeah, they just didn't have another endangered species. Making sure that we have a, a healthy population in our city. But, uh, but we want lots more because that is another species that we're helping bring them back from the brink of extinction. So we have lost about 60% of their numbers in just the last 30 years. And again, that is mainly because of global climate change. So while you and I do our, all of our little things every day to combat that, uh, also remember that the zoo is working really. It's our closest stop in the front, and of course, close to all of this. <laughs> Uh, but definitely walk through and look through the babies and the pouches and go around it. You'll find tortoises, turtles, crocodiles. Yeah, so either way you go, you have more adventures to have and of course plenty of help. Anyone here in the Yes, it is. 